In me shed, me shed, me lovely little shed. Might as well get a Chesterfield, the toilet and the bed. It's the only place where I can go and tinker with me toys. Go and find solitude with a bunch of ugly guys. Alright, so uh, as you can see outside from my intro, it's a storm day. It's been pretty cold. I haven't driven my bike since uh, since my last video. I'm going to install this rear storage box. This is the first edition. Got all the necessities today. There's all the parts you'll need. I peeled the stickers off and stuck it on these metal, uh, metal clamps and stuff already. So those are already there. But yeah, not really heavy instructions. So let's give this a go. So the first thing instructions say to do is to uh, remove these uh, support uh, rack support bolts. There's two of them. You're not going to reuse them because it kit comes with some longer ones that go through the box and into the same spot. I'm probably just going to spray a little rush check down uh, down those holes just to uh, help uh, prevent against rusting. Before you uh, put the bolts through, don't forget to add in these uh, spacers. There's only two of them in the kit. And they go between the rack and under the box. So we got, uh, got that one in there. I had to adjust the hole because the angle at the hole was drilled through the box. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't really line up. And uh, so you just put on one of these collars. Hopefully you guys can see that thing goes on there and then it screws right down into the factory uh, bolts that are holding the uh, your racks on so I'll get this one on we got the two uh, rear bolts on now so we uh, start here at the front of the box we uh, hook on uh, or just they kind of just pop into place these uh, smaller collars there's four of those in the kit so as you guys can see we just drop the uh, bolts down through the collars this is going to go underneath rubber side against the rack underneath obviously and these have uh, threaded holes in them and you just uh, tighten those up so we've got both bolts on just sort of finger tight and then you can uh, just go ahead and tighten them up of course don't over tighten them and we'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna try to get a glimpse of up underneath and kind of see the uh, the bar going across the back rack, rubber side against the rack so it doesn't scratch it and the nice threaded uh, bolts and yeah so it wasn't too bad the only thing I had to do that wasn't to uh, didn't really want to was on this one I had to uh, adjust the hole a bit by just uh, making it a bit bigger the angle was a bit wrong so if you follow the instructions and everything you should be good to go So yeah, there you go. The bike's still clean, still got ice on it from my last ride. This is the uh, Yamaha rear storage box. It uh, seems to be a nice box. It's built pretty good. And got these kind of like a like a Yeti cooler would have. Uh, lots of storage. And uh, the installation time on this one was uh, two beer. So. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, it's a friggin' snowstorm here. I got my had my snowblower out earlier, as you guys can see. She's still covered in snow and ice. It's uh, coming down good out there. Oh yeah. Some people are asking me too what size big horns I have. These are 26 inch uh, big horns. So 26 by 12 by 12 in the back. And in the front, it is 26 by 9 by 12. So, yep. 
Yeah, I read that right. But yeah, one last look at the rear cargo box. Has spot where you can lock it, spot that you can put one of them big uh, antennas for you guys that actually have desert and dunes. So just itching to get this thing back out. I had to work this weekend, but uh, hopefully I get back out. And thanks for watching the uh, installation. Before I go, I should say a huge thanks to my brother. He installed these LED lights, and it's a thousand times better than the old lights that were in here. So, thanks a lot, Sean. Appreciate it. You guys see me walk through here when I first came through. It's all blown back over.